So today we're going to have an interview with my daughter Lorelin about her pet axolotl. Hello. So Lorelin, tell us, what is an axolotl? An axolotl is a type of salamander that stays in its juvenile form. It's, a, it's in fact related to the American uh, tiger salamander. So where are axolotls from? They come from certain lakes in Mexico. Okay, and why did you decide to get an axolotl? What attracted you to axolotls? Well, to be honest, it was watching the movie adaptation of How to Train Your Dragon, because they based the dragon Toothless off of an axolotl, and I thought, from that moment on, axolotls are super cool. Hmm. Okay. And tell us a little bit about your setup. How do you have this uh, aquarium set up? Well, we have a sponge filter to, you know, just clean the water, that kind of stuff, and we have a hide and a plant for to move around and crawl on and stuff. Why do you use a sponge filter as opposed to some other type of filter? Well, two reasons. One, sponge filters have very uh, very low flow. They don't cause very much water movement because axolotls don't like that. And two, they don't raise the temperature of the water because with axolotls you need to keep the water cool. So tell us what is a good temperature range for axolotls? Um, kind of like high 60s or low 70s. Okay. How warm does your axolotl tank get in the summer, say? Um, about 74 degrees, because we keep it down in the basement so it doesn't get very hot. Okay, and how warm is it right now? Right now, let me check, it is about 60 degrees. So what type of foods do you offer your axolotl? We um, feed her these sinking pellets from flymeat.com. Flymeat.com? Yeah. Okay. And have you ever offered any other food to, you know, as axolotl food? Yeah, we've um, fed her crickets and worms and daphnia. Okay. And how often do you feed your axolotl? I feed her about five days a week-ish. Okay. And how many pellets at a time? Five pellets at a time, most, most of the time. Five okay. or six. And how often do you do water changes? Twice a week. And how much water do you change? We do about 60% of the water. I've heard that... A 10-gallon tank is a good recommendation for uh, starting out with an axolotl. Do you think this tank will be okay for the rest of your axolotl's life, or is it getting time for a change? Um, I think we might have to put her in a bigger tank soon, because she's growing a lot lately. She's definitely growing, yeah. So, yep, that would be a good idea. And what's fun about owning an axolotl? Well, it's really fun just to watch them, because um, axolotl means water dog, and... They really do act like puppies. Like sometimes I'll catch her sitting up on the sponge filter and she'll be snapping at the air bubbles trying to eat them and stuff. <laughs> or she'll just like hop off of her hide and just slowly float down and do it over and over again. She really does act like a puppy. Cool. So is your axolotl a male or a female? Well, when we got her, we thought it was a female. But now since it's grown a lot, we're beginning to think it might be a male. Well, Laurelin, thanks for joining us, and thank you for introducing us to your axolotl. Thanks for having me. It was fun. Thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday, all related to keeping aquarium and vivarium pets. You're most welcome to leave a comment and a like. And for those of you who are waiting for an animal voiceover at the end... If you subscribe, we will be eternally grateful.